Good evening, everybody. This is Naveen Ganglani reporting to you for Rappler.com at the Smart Iron at the Coliseum in Cubao City, where we are about an hour following Gilas Pilipinas' absolutely disappointing defeat in the hands of Angola to drop their second game in the 2023 FIBA World Cup that they are hosting here in Manila. Now, the defeat all but basically eliminates Gilas, save for a gigantic performance in their upcoming game from the next stage of the group phase of the FIBA World Cup. It was another disappointing performance because once again, the same issues that has plagued Gilas for the last few years showed up in, shall we say, disappointing fashion, to say the least. Jordan Clarkson led the way with 21 points but shot only 7 out of 22 from the field. Overall, Gilas Pilipinas hit only 4 of their 22 three-point attempts, something that head coach Chot Reyes lamented at the end of the contest. Kai Soto, Roger Pagoy, and also Dwight Ramos each contributed 8 points each, while AJ Edu scored 9 points. But overall, Gilas did not play well. They once again allowed 20 offensive rebounds to Angola, who came in as the lower-ranked team in this matchup. Additionally, Gilas also gave up 15 turnovers that led to many fast-break opportunities for Angola, which allowed the visiting team to run away and build a 16-point lead in the fourth quarter. Gilas made it close down the stretch, cutting the lead to as low as 5 before ultimately faltering thanks to an open three-pointer in the corner that allowed Angola to seal the game. Gilas actually got off to an early lead going up by as much as 9 points as Angola struggled to shoot going 4 of 21 in the opening quarter but once the field goal shooting of Angola normalized, Gilas was in trouble. Too much isolation play once again for Jordan Clarkson and the other players of the Gilas national team on offense while on defense, the national team of the Philippines kept switching up schemes trying to find an answer only to find Angola finding open shooters again and again again to bury them deeper. Now after the contest, Coach Chot Reyes said that the goal for the Philippines is to win in Italy to give them a shot at qualifying in the 2024 Paris Olympics, which will be more difficult now that Japan won a contest against Finland in their country where they are also hosting the FIBA World Cup group phase. Can it happen? We shall see. Again, Gilas will take on Italy, which Chot Reyes himself called a top 10 team in FIBA and would have to blow them out, I repeat, blow them out by a huge margin for a chance to advance to the next stage of the group phase. But with the way Coach Chot Reyes was talking after the contest, it seems like the goal for Gilas now is to simply get the win against Italy, hope Japan loses its next game, and that would put the Philippines in good position, in his opinion, to perhaps qualify for Paris. Overall, the crowd energy, the atmosphere, disappointment was in the air. Fans were leaving the Arneta Coliseum early with minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Whenever Chot Reyes was showed in the big screen, he was booed. And Angola was playing at their best. They were op finding open shooters. They were rebounding. They were pushing the pace. They were celebrating after dunks. They were celebrating after three-point shots. They were defending well. They were even controlling the physicality of the game, having Gila scramble all over the place, unable to find Answers. Now, how will Gilas do against Italy? Another tough opposition. Will we see the team that showed up against the Dominican Republic? An encouraging, impressive contest. Or will we see the team that showed up today against Angola? Disappointing, looking for answers. And once again, way too often at this point, looking confused and overmatched. For Rappler, this is Naveen Ganglani. We'll catch you all at the next game.